this uh, word comes to mind when I think about this specific artist, and it is roots. And I say roots because I feel like you're the type of artist who is very proud about where you have come from, and you never forget how it started for you. So very excited to have Dermot Kennedy joining us in the iHeart right. room today. I'm so good, I'm so excited to talk to you. Do you think that's fair to say, like roots would be a great word to describe like Absolutely, who you yeah. are as yeah, a person? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be weird for me to forget that, you know, it kind of informs everything I do now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's very important. However I started is very important now still. Do we have Santa to thank for, like, all of this? What do you mean? The guitar. Oh, that one guitar? Yeah, that probably. One guitar? Yeah, yeah, 20 years ago I got thank it. Thank you, Santa. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I played it. I think the first time, its first outing was a school talent show, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what, were you like 11, 12? I was 10 years old. Yeah. Like I play that same guitar to like 25,000 people and it holds its own. Like that guitar is good. Still intact to this day. Barely. But it is, but it is like, it's worth nothing. Like you buy that, like, yeah, it's a very basic guitar, but it's just, it's nice to me to be able to kind of bring it to big stages and be like, this is still valid here. See? Roots. What did I say? Yes. Roots, right? And we, we thank Santa for that, but we also thank you know, your parents, because they were, <laughs> they were very supportive. I don't want to do that. You got to. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing it. <laughs> I never want to touch that. Yeah. Uh, but your parents, such huge support system yes. in your life. It, like true that your dad used to like drive you around to open mic nights when you weren't even like old enough to get into the bars. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I take it for granted, I think, but there was just this relentless support all the time. You know, and it meant I could kind of chase this for a long time because it you know it did take a long time take risks right that maybe for sure yeah you yeah. had a dad that was like be a doctor or you you couldn't maybe go and spread your wings in sure. the way that you wanted to totally but also like risks that mightn't be afforded to somebody else who wants to go on this journey and so i i do i'm very appreciative of the fact that i was able to kind of just play in the street for years you know that is something that maybe not a lot of people know about you. Obviously, your fan base knows because you do these amazing street sessions all over the world, really. Like you're, you're doing street performances, you're doing park performances. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to you to go back to your roots in that way? I think I'm just determined to kind of let my values as a human show through in my career. Someone said to me the other day at a signing, when I follow an artist, I really don't detach the person from the music they make. Okay. And she was like, I'm very proud to be a fan of you. And I, that was huge to wow. me. It's one of the coolest things I've heard in a while. Um, and so for me, I just, um, I don't know. I'm very determined for people to not think I'm kind of getting a big head or like losing my way and kind of just wanting to only play big shows that make money every time. Like I want to just play music to people genuinely. And, um, and so the buskin is just a very good way of doing that. And you actually connect with people and you can, I don't know, you can see how much it means to people, you know? If you had to teach like a course on like busking, what do you think like the first lesson would be? Like just be confident. You got to be stubborn. Like you really do. If you kind of start to open your case and someone pops out from like a store across the way and is like, you can't play here. You have to kind of not just always be like, okay, sorry. Oh, like, you, have you have to be to, like, I am a playing little bit, here. Yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Especially depending on where you are. Like in Dublin, Buskin's a very important part of the culture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it should be there. But you once said in an interview that if you are not moving forward, you are just kind of going backwards. And I and I love that so much. Like Whether it's true or not, that's just how it feels. Yeah, it's so but it's so true, though. It's yeah. great. And I kind of feel like that's what happened with your debut album versus Sonder, which is such a great album. But yeah. it is just so different, a uh, different sound. Yeah, a little bit more hopeful, maybe than your debut uh -huh. album. I'm wondering if it had anything to do with you going out and performing in these larger venues, if that writing process for you changed. At I think all. so. Yeah, I think it's rare that I write a song and don't consider how it's going to come across live. Yeah, been lucky enough now to play to some really big crowds of people and you can see how certain songs and ideas connect yeah there's no way it doesn't come into my head when i'm writing a song you know what i mean and if something feels like it can fill a stadium or an arena to me that's just something i want to do and see how that feels you know a lot of proud moments for you one that you said was a really proud moment for you the the album success and it's gone number one in ireland and you said that was like huge for you why is that so important that it went number one there just to be sort of respected in your home i think is huge for me but also the main thing for me was that Saunders number one, but uh, without fear, the first one hasn't left the top 10. But to me, that's massive. Because to me, you know, like nowadays people release music, it peaks, it dies, mm -hmm. it is forgotten. I think that's my sort of 
dream is to kind of last and have music that actually is part of people's lives and stands the test of time. Huge moment for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you one of my favorite Dermot Kennedy moments, which is when you did the live version of Antihero from oh, Taylor yeah. Swift. And, you know, as a street performer, you're covering songs all the time from other artists. What does it feel like, though, going in knowing full well that there's a good chance that that artist is going to actually, sure. you know, hear your version of it? And it happens to be Taylor Swift. And then when she responds, wow, that was beautiful. You see, like we were in the middle of a tour when we did that mm -hmm. and it was coming up to the album so we we're doing two shows a night and so my voice like i rinse my voice like i sing way too hard and so when i did it on the radio this morning was that morning was like my first time singing the song because i was like i don't have time to practice this song what so i was just listening a lot um come and on so that was my first time singing it. that's yeah. so crazy i was doing two shows a night and i was like there was days where i was not talking like i had no time to learn that song yeah i feel like you have been visiting canada quite a bit true lately like do you feel like it's almost yeah, a, little become a little bit of a second home for you sure well i mean even i've been here tons in toronto because just making music here recorded a lot of music here i've had some great shows here we've been to vancouver a lot and uh montreal a few times and then even with sean we were kind of winnipeg Alberta, right. and stuff and so um yeah i've been around here a bit lately uh, yeah okay so do you want to do something fun because i thought it would Go be on. cool to do i saw like, the flags when, i, I know flags. you saw my yeah. flags we saw the flags okay so i thought it would be cool to do a little round of which side of the pond oh okay okay so yeah. i'm just gonna like throw some questions at you so i'm gonna you feel bad if so i don't you, pick Ireland. no 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 i don't want you to feel bad if okay. you do not pick ireland i mean that's your country but i don't feel bad if you don't pick canada like yeah. canadians love you which side of the pond are you going to for a beer and what beer is it easy ireland okay guinness guinness pint of stink yeah where do you get the best pint of guinness Pint to stink. You gotta say pint to stink. What is it? Pint to pint to pint stink. Pint to stink. Yeah, yeah. Pint people stink? call it stink sometimes. Because it does. It does. Um, well, yeah. It's um, an acquired taste. It is. Yeah. I was so scared the first time I had a pint of Guinness. I was like, I don't think I like this. And then it takes like five or six pints. Okay. Over the course it's of kind of like a meal. Which side of the pond are you going to for shopping? Probably here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got some good stores. Yeah. We do. Imagine. We do. Okay. Which side of the pond are you going to for a sporting event and what sporting event is it? I'd go to Ireland um, just to watch the Irish national team. To be honest, like we're very good at rugby. Yes. And then, but to watch an Irish football or soccer game is uh, like I went to Man United against Man City, <gasps> which is a huge game. But the atmosphere was just not good. And then I went to Ireland against Portugal. What do you mean not good? Like, like, like it was a little... just dead. Oh. They United were really bad. Oh, okay, but, uh, okay. So the atmosphere was dead. And I went to an Irish game a few days later, which was like not even a big game. Yeah. Like, and the atmosphere was unbelievable. Like Irish fans at sporting events are the best. I can attest to that. I did. I went to a Celtic game once in Glasgow. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's like, I mean, I was crying. Yeah, I don't, I'm not thing, even, yeah. like, I'm not even a football fan like yeah, but i was are. like you just kind of get into it yeah, right yeah, yeah. so okay i agree with you on that one what side of the pond are you going to for weather keep in mind canada has some pretty intense winter i would say here really because there's seasons yes um i don't think anyone at home would hate me for not picking ireland <laughs> when it comes to weather it's great um, wet yeah like yeah and you could have the most beautiful day you've ever seen in june but then similarly, it could rain for the whole month. Right. So like the fact that there's seasons here, I like that. Okay. And finally, what side of the pond are you going to for a late night meal? And what meal is it? Home. Okay. But like home. Home. You know, my parents' house. Oh. That's where I would go. I like because that. Because, you know, like I don't it's get the best. there enough. Yeah. What is, uh, what is mom or dad cooking? Like the best meal? Like know. what are we doing? Uh, like my mom kind of, my mom, and even if she saw this, she wouldn't hate me. She does not sort of like, she hates like cooking, but that's okay. And uh, I would, I don't know, something classic that'll look good on the thing. Irish stew or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Typical answer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for coming by. Canada loves you. Nice We're one. so excited about the upcoming tour and uh, the success on, on Sonder. You know, good luck with that. It's going to be, it. it's you. just going to be a great ride for you. Thanks very much. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Derby Kennedy. <laughs>